But one of the things I actually like about this mark, mark about this. So today we're going to be doing a comparison between three DJI drones. Let's see which one is best for me. Hi, my name is Rebecca Meyer. And if you're new to this channel, first let me begin by welcoming you. I predominantly do tech reviews of gizmos and gadgets, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. All right, so let's get into it. So today I decided to talk about drones. Um, I, I was in the market for a new drone. I have been flying the DJI Mavic Pro and um, there were just some things that I, I didn't really like about it. So I started doing a little research just to figure out which one would be best for me. So I thought I'd go over that comparison that I did for the, uh, for the DJI Spark, the DJI Mavic Air, and the DJI Mavic Pro. So let's get into it. All right, so I knew that I wanted a drone uh, with a gimbal. That was extremely important to me. My first drone, and I don't even know if I would call it a drone, was the, uh, the Hover Camera Passport. And although it was a great compact camera, easy to travel with, it didn't have a gimbal. And because it didn't have a gimbal, uh, the footage, at least for video, just wasn't that good. So the pictures were fantastic, but the video eh, it was a little on the, like shaky side, it just wasn't stable enough for me. Now with the DJI Spark, uh, it does have a two axis gimbal. So basically uh, it would be like the other two drones. So it, uh, the other two drones have a three axis gimbal. So the Mavic Air three axis gimbal and the Mavic Pro have a three axis gimbal. But what it's missing is that, that little bit that goes like this. Uh, but I had been watching some footage and I was like, well, you know what? Even though it's only got a two axis gimbal, this, this appears very, very stable. So even though uh, the three axis gimbals are fantastic, just having a two axis gimbal appears, at least uh, by the footage that I've seen, to be pretty good. Let's talk about flight time. Um, this was, again, another one of my big concerns. Now, with the Mavic Pro, I had actually gotten the Fly More Combo package, uh, and after a year of flying it, I can honestly say that I never use the combo package ever. Um, three batteries, at least for me, was just, it, honestly, it was just a waste. Now the Mavic Air has approximately 21 minutes of flight time and the Mavic Pro has about 27 minutes of flight time. Now 27 minutes, at least for the Mavic Pro, was more than enough flight time and I honestly, I never used any of the other batteries. Now, I only did ever use the other batteries for one exception, and that was during Hurricane Irma. I actually used um, the, the extra batteries as power supplies because we had lost uh, power for many, many days, and, uh, and that was a, a nice backup battery to, to have in the house, at least to be able to charge my phone and whatnot. So anyway, um, so as far as the, the battery usage, 16 minutes with the Spark, is that enough time? Honestly, for me, it is. Uh, I predominantly only use, well, it's not that I only use it, but I mostly use it when I'm out and about, like walking through the woods or, uh, you know, um, just exploring things. So I just want to pop it up in the air for a little bit, get a little overview of what I'm doing, and then go about my day. Um, I don't actually sit in one location for, you know, a half hour or more to to just get some, some views and things like that. Um, you know, most of the videos and things that I would make would just be like little cuts of this and that. So really, I only need to have it up in the air for just a few minutes at a time. And for me personally, now down the line, I may end up getting another battery. But at this moment, I don't feel a need to get a battery for the Spark. Um, but, uh, but with the Mavic Pro, honestly, I didn't use any of the three batteries. If I get the, the Mavic Air, I wouldn't get the combo package. So let's talk about distance. Um, if your drone can go super far away, then that's fantastic. But I live in the US and the law here is that it has to remain within eyesight. So for the, for the DJI uh, Spark, it goes 1.2 miles. 
I cannot see 1.2 miles away, and it is definitely not in my line of vision if it is 1.2 miles away. Now, of course, the Mavic Air goes like 2.4, the Mavic Pro goes um, a little over four miles. So for me, as far as distance goes, honestly, the, the Spark uh, wins again for me because uh, again, I want to be able to keep my drone in in the line of sight. Um, that's the law here. Uh, maybe not in other countries, but at least in the U.S., that's the law here to keep it in in, in the line of sight. And I cannot see 1.2 miles away. So for me, the distance is is fine, and it's it's fantastic as far as I'm concerned. All right, now here's where there is a lot of controversy. The DJI Spark, um, as far as the photography goes, can only uh, take a JPEG. Uh, when you're dealing with the Air and the Pro, you can, uh, we have a lot more options as far as how, how you want to, to take your pictures, uh, particularly raw, so you have a lot to be able to play with if you're playing with like Lightroom, and, and you really are a photographer, so if you're doing weddings and things like that, you're probably not going to want to go with, uh, with the Spark. Now, uh, for me, honestly, with my Mavic Pro, I never took one picture, not one no pictures uh, i really just like video i really enjoy video and so for me for me it's just not a good thing um now for people that really enjoy manipulating photos and things like that um that then maybe this wouldn't be the the one for them then in that particular case i would say maybe you'd want to you know gear more towards the air but uh but honestly for me it's it's all about the video all right, so let's talk about the video. Um, the DJI Spark can only film in 1080p. Oh no, 1080p. It's a full HD and it's a beautiful HD. Uh, whereas the other two drones, they can uh, they can film up to 4K and 4K, you know, everyone's going 4K, 4K, 4K. Now, if you have owned 4K cameras like I have, then the one thing that you know is that it eats up so much of your memory in your computer uh, and you're going to have to have backup drives and external drives and this and that. I don't even want to deal with that. I don't, I don't particularly like 4K. I very, very rarely use 4K. Um, as I've said before, uh, when I was doing a review on the, on the uh, Sony FDRX 3000, I really only use it if I just want to like punch in on a video, but uh, predominantly I do everything in 1080p uh, for YouTube. Everything predominantly is 1080p. I mean, some people are going the 4K route, but I think like me, they've found that it just, it just eats up all your memory in your computer slows everything down then you have to move everything over to an external drive and it's a hassle and honestly i just want to have fun i want to view the footage i want to have a good time i want to easily make a video where my where my computer's not getting bogged up or slowing down because of this uh, this this giant file that's on there i don't even have a, a 4k television so i'm still you know watching everything in in hd which is fine for me i'm i'm happy with that but um, at this moment in time, I think 1080p is fine. I may ch change my tune uh, you know, later down the line, but at this moment, uh, I predominantly watch YouTube videos on my computer. I do watch them on my television. My computer does have a 4K display, but um, I still prefer watching you know, YouTube videos on my television, which is HD. It is what it is, but again, it, for me, it just goes back down to, to the memory. All right, let's talk about cost because th this is a big factor. Um, I bought a DJI Spark refurbished from DJI, so it has full warranty, um, for $270. Now, if I wanted to move up to, uh, to say, the Air, I'm going to be paying $799. And all this is without the combo package uh, for, for, for all of these. Mavic Pro is going to be $899. That's a significant jump. Um, and for me, I just don't, I mean, not that it's not worth it. The, the Air and the Pro are beautiful, fantastic, fantastic creatures. They're wonderful, but um, I really just want something simple and easy to fly that, uh, that I don't even have to you know, give two thoughts about. And the cost uh, per what you get, I mean, $270, I think that's a fantastic deal. I think that's a great, great, 
great price for a drone with a gimbal. Um, and I, uh, I, I definitely don't regret spending the 270 for that. As a matter of fact, uh, just recently I actually sold my Mavic Pro, uh, made some decent money on that on eBay. I do like to like sell my, I'll call it old tech, um, just to get something new, uh, even if it's a, even if it's an older item, just something I want to play with. So I, I do kind of rotate my, my tech stuff, but, um, I was thrilled with, with selling the Pro getting the spark um, so much so that I've actually, even in the short amount of time that I've had the spark, I've actually used it a lot more than I have the, the pro. Um, and the reason why we're gonna get into that now, uh, it goes, uh, goes to the, the size and the weight. So as far as the weight of the Spark, it's 95 grams. I mean, the thing is even lighter than my, uh, I have one of those uh, iPhone wallet cases. It's even lighter than that. Um, and that for me is, is a really, really big deal. As a matter of fact, I just had uh, back surgery. So everything that I try to do or play with, it has to be very light and very small. But if you have other equipment that you tend to carry with you, uh, my, my favorite uh, camera, FDR X3000, or I might take a little point and shoot around with me, these things are small and they're lightweight and I can literally put them in my bag. So if I just want to, you know, take out my little spark, I can toss it right in my, right in my bag. I mean, this, this, this is a small bag for like, even for like a regular woman. Um, but anyway, it's just, it's super small. I can take all of my gear with me in one shot and I don't even have to think about it. And I just love that. I think it's, it's, I just like things that are easy. I think, you know, things that are just simple to do. Um, I was a little concerned about the, the gimbal being out and about. So I did actually, um, I got this from Polar Pro. It's just a, a little mini bag and it'll, you know, I can put my spark in it. I can fit some batteries or the charger in there. I can stick it right in my bag and I'm, I'm totally good to go. So I'm super, super thrilled with that. So as far as the weight, um, there's no comparison. You're gonna uh, like double the weight once you get into uh, the Air and then triple the weight once you get into um, the Mavic Pro. The Mavic Pro is almost, uh, it's a little over a pound and a half. And if you're walking like, you know, three miles or hiking like six miles, you know, that's really heavy and it, it just it just weighs on you after a while. And again, with my back just having surgery, um, light, 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 light is, is really, really what I wanna do. Um, I was torn between the air and the spark because of the form factor. Uh, if you fold up the, the Mavic Air, it actually folds up smaller than the spark. But one of the things that I actually like about the spark is that I don't have to fiddle with the legs. Um, that was actually one of the things that annoyed me with the, with the Mavic Pro. So um, I'm perfectly fine that they don't fold up. I still think the size that it is is fantastic. Um, and I'm overall, it's, it's, it's literally a joy to fly this. I mean, an absolute, absolute, utter joy to fly this. Uh, it's so easy. I don't even have the remote control. I'm literally just using it off of my, uh, off the Wi-Fi, off my phone. Uh, I may down the line get the remote control, but at this moment, as I said before, I like to just throw it up, get some shots, go about my day and uh, continue on on my journey. But um, I just, I just think this is the most fun drone that I've ever flown. Um, and my, my father has a Phantom 4. Again, I had the Phantom, uh, I'm sorry, I had the uh, Mavic Pro and uh, I had the Hover Camera Passport, which was really bad. Um, but, uh, but this is a, a, a real joy and, uh, and I'm super happy that I have it. All right, so that wraps up my comparison of the DJI Spark the DJI Mavic Air and the DJI Mavic Pro. I do appreciate you stopping by. And, uh, and if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that, uh, that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button and don't forget to ring the notification bell. All right, guys, I'm out for now. Uh, I would like to go fly, but uh, the weather in Florida is terrible. So I gotta wait for, for this rain cloud to go away. All right, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day and uh, keep shining. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.